<laughs> so we just getting it started. It's time for the vent. It's time to air it out. So what's going on? I'm ready. What you got on your chest? I'm ready to air it out. Shit, same old, bro. Same old shit. First, I want to say shout out to your ass. <laughs> shout out to my nigga L Train. Hey, we trying to do it. Cleveland things. Unlimited <laughs> Sports Inc. On deck. You already know. Hey, shout out. Shout out what you got going on on the music podcast side. You want me to you want me to shout out Bob Music? Go ahead. Shit, we got a new track. Me and my dude Cass just did a new track called The Road to History, bro. That shit is raw, nigga. I already know. Y'all probably dropping jewels off in that one. Nigga, that shit raw. Let me see if I can let me get up here. But right quick. The vent? Yeah, right quick, the vent. So what you think about the intro? Man, I respect everything you doing, brother. Everything you got going on, bro. I respect it. I fuck with the intro. The name of the goddamn podcast is is raw in itself. You know what I'm saying? The event, nigga. Once you we get it. once you get up there, when you record this podcast, you gotta be in a motherfucking event. Motherfucker. Oh, this is this is recorded. This is recorded for sure. Oh shit, we in there. <laughs> Let me plug this shit up real quick. Stream yard. Yeah, I fuck with the stream yard too, man. These little new platforms that's coming out, man. Everybody trying to extend that arm, man. Make you it easier to. for people. Shout out to 2020. We have been through hell. But shout out to the pandemic because it opened up different lanes. And like Andrew Schultz said, it put everything on home court field. Period. Man. We on the same playing ground. I got a friend. I got a friend that worked for Charles Schwab, bro. Mm. And and because of the pandemic, they cut the little training courses and shit that the people got to take in order to get different certifications and shit within the company. They cut yeah. the times. They cut the times like in half. So like a six month course is now like a three month course. You know what I mean? A six week course is now like a three week course. But once you get certain certifications and shit within the company, you move up and pay and all that shit. So now motherfuckers can move up and pay. Usually would have took a six month period to get a certain certification. Now you can get it in three months, six Next. weeks, three weeks, two weeks, <laughs> one week. Motherfuckers get raises out the ass. Bro. I know people in school right now. But you know where you know, the raises even, are going, right? They're going within the company to their fucking grandkids, bro. <laughs> hey. <laughs> motherfuckers, motherfuckers ain't doing but nothing but building that generational wealth for their fucking... Building, no, hey, not even generational wealth, not even gentrification, none of that shit. You know what they're building hey. up? A monopoly. Monopoly. The white <laughs> man with the top hat and the pipe. <laughs> Saying what's opoly. <laughs> <laughs> Monopoly. Hey, but I guess the coronavirus benefiting some people. I guess it's benefiting Charles Schwab employees and people who ain't had no jobs that apply for that motherfucking unemployment. Hey, that. <laughs> and as well as Nikola Jokic. And anybody hey, else who was trying to work on their damn body. <laughs> quarantine did them niggas good. Look, either, either you was Jokic, either you was Jokic and you came out on top, or what? you was me and you came out with a gut. Man, that's dad hey, weight. I ain't trying to hear The it. quarantine. <laughs> you got to listen to that currency offloading. That's what you about to be on. <laughs> Hey, in the Bible, in the Bible, it says, fill your belly and <laughs> live so your so. days. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fill your belly and live your life, brother. <laughs> I've been there from 271 down to goddamn 205 to hey, 177. Enjoy. They said, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Well, nigga, I got squash and pickles and motherfucking carrots nope. and... You got you got Schwab. That's what you did. Charles Schwab. 
that's what that's what you have put into your labor, brother. Period. Hey. Motherfuckers are getting certified in half the time, bro. It's crazy. But when it comes when it comes to the event though, yeah. Man, you know I, I gotta go to my sister. I need a guest. I man. gotta go to my it's sister. So much bro. more fun. I gotta go to my sister, bro. You know her personally. You know what I'm saying? Always. So if, if we're gonna vent, we're gonna vent about this, bro. That's so it. ever since ever since my sister passed, bro, my anger and shit and how irritated I get, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm real quick to that shit a lot, especially with people that don't fucking know me, because it's like Every time you meet a new person or something like that, they come of you with an attitude of a this how I this how I approach people that I don't know. You know what I'm saying on a day to day basis type shit. Like you're gonna get that brand new person attitude from a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna right. come to you like they come at their brother. They ain't gonna come at you like they would come at you know they uh, a person in a church. They're gonna right. come at you as a random motherfucker, and I gotta be a little bit ignorant with the shit. You know what I'm saying? It used to be, it used to be, when you first meet a person, you give them, you show all that love up front, and if they burn you, then you go back, you know what I'm saying? You start pedal, backpedaling a little bit. That's because you're born with an old soul. Man, motherfuckers, motherfuckers got a motherfucking ignorant ass persona about everybody want to be a tough guy. Everybody got a point to prove. That's Cleveland. Everybody, That's Cleveland, man. Man, these motherfuckers, bro. I got into it with a nigga today at the job, bro. And I usually don't even bite on niggas' pump fakes. You know what I'm saying? I already but know. I'm only wise, human. Man. I'm already. I'm only human. So you know, he he threw a nice fat worm out there for me. I bit it. You know what I'm saying? I got to going in on this nigga, bro. And I know he can't fuck with me. I know I know, I ain't worried about nothing. It's just a simple fact. Like, at that moment in time, so many people around and shit. Like, had it been me and him, I'd probably say something to bridge the gap and just, you know what I'm saying, get and past right, the bullshit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, just to get through the shit. But it was people in front, so a G check. It's people around. I feel, I'm feeling embarrassed. You know what? I got <laughs> I got to pop back now. You know what I'm saying? You got to pop smoke, bro. You, you know what I'm pop smoke, bro. Off <laughs> rip, bro. I got to go in on my nigga, smoke. bro. You had to pop smoke on that ass. Man, I was like a like an old New Yorker on this nigga. Fuck out of here. Fuck you. Man, <laughs> I was in that nigga ass, bro. I was in his ass, bro. And it ain't really, I ain't gain shit from it or nothing, but it just showed me that, like, it showed me how much shit I let slide. Like, if I'm going to get mad at this, I should have got mad at this. I should have been mad at this. You know what I'm saying? If and you when you got anger issues, on, that shit goes through the glaciers of layers. You right. feel me? Bro. So, I, I dug back. Oh, man. I, I was saying some real crazy shit, man. You know, I'm real creative. You the it was like a rap Cleveland. battle. Man, I was, I was saying some terrible things. I was talking dirty. Like a sex phone operator. I was talking dirty, man. I was like saying a crazy. sailor. Like a sailor. <laughs> cussing like a sailor. <laughs> I'm cussing like a sailor. But at the yeah. end of the day, bro, I dug back and I ran that shit through the processes and shit. And I'm like, damn, bro, I should have. Because, and that's just me. Like, even motherfuckers that was around and chilling me out was, you know what I'm saying, telling me I ain't wrong, but just, you know, relax. I ain't used to seeing you like this. Chill, yeah, you know what I'm know. saying? You ain't yeah. like this. You know what I'm saying? Because we really do, man. Go man. ahead. Tell them. Tell them. I be holding weight, bro. I be letting shit ride off the shoulder. I got I got, I got, got waterproof skin. I let a you lot of I shit know, slide, man. bro. I let a lot of shit slide, bro. A lot you, of shit. You a good dude. It's something about the weather or whatever it was, bro. Like I said, motherfuckers was looking at me, bro. I was like, nah, not today, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you got to. That's when you got to show that silver gorilla. 
you know me, bro. I'm bigger than the average niggas. Like, I'm six five, nigga. I'm 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 two twenty. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the I ain't the biggest is? nigga? About seven feet. You know what I'm saying? Seven foot. Seven foot right. and six five though. That's hey, crazy. But- Besides all that, bro, you know me. I'm a humble dude, bro. I'm a lover before I am a fighter, bro. I love people. Always. I love different outlooks. I like different personalities. I like all that shit bottled up. You know what I'm saying? I love all that shit, nigga. Different backgrounds, everything. Oh, I want to meet a worm and a dragon. You know what I'm saying? I want to kick it with the giant peach himself. Come on, man. I'm trying to explore all that shit. So I usually let shit slide, you know, but I couldn't do it, bro. Niggas looking at me like this. Different faces yes, and you shit. You to prove your point. Man, yeah. I'm like, man, hold point, up. Man. Bitch ass nigga. But you know nigga. I know how that feel too, though. I know, I know how that man. feel too, man. Because me being myself, I don't even like confrontation or like that. I'd rather have, I'd rather sit down with somebody to the side and we talk about it and they learn something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really into boasting myself or seeming like I'm tough or some other shit. It ain't but no point. When I'm, when I'm on what you one, got to prove? But when I'm on one and I feel like I'm disrespected habitually. It's hard. It's hard to get off of it, too. I I, I got to I gotta be like, yo, you you going to get these bars and you going to understand what the fuck I'm saying. You have to. Man, bro, I was on some, like... I'm on some man. My brother, what will my brother do? He locked up right now. He wouldn't take this situation Chill. light. Like, Chill. I'm, I'm, bruh, I'm going with that <laughs> full spirit, bro. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tap into any energy I can. Like, I don't even, tap bruh, into no take you, room. Don't tap into no room. <laughs> I didn't dub back in the in the in the in the in the room on the niggas. Like, yeah. Oh, and if anybody, I don't want to hear no shit later on. You know what I'm saying? If anybody got oh, anything to say, to say that shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Anybody. <laughs> any of y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Who Brad, said it? Cricket. Who in the, crickets. Who the, who the Brad. fuck said it? <laughs> Brad, crickets. It was crickets, bro. And, you, and I just said exactly. And I left the fuck the room, out, bro. And he was looking around and ain't nobody Brad, said nothing. Left the fuck out. Like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And left the fuck out there. But I, I know how that feels. I know how that feel. You know how those nights and that then, we had, even when even we went after out all of that, any of that, even after all of that, I still feel bad at the end of the day, bro. Because you get like, like I shouldn't have did that shit, bro. I shouldn't have did that shit, bro. I know, but you had to get it out in some way, shape, or form, bro. Man, that's the thing that we got to just chalk it up to. Like people chalk it up to life, they chalk shit up to experience we have to chalk it up to that's the way that we had to let that out it was better than I killing had to let somebody. That shit off. it was better For than real. robbing somebody or going to jail yeah you're you know? right about that you're right about you know, that it was, it was better to let it out that way like no fuck this you gonna hear what i got to say about this situation mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. we just got to man i'm standing over that I nigga know, like man. a like a fucking human over an <laughs> ant that can crush him at any minute like Step hey, out of hey. line, nigga. Do anything out of place, bro. And gotta, I'm pulling. You take it back to medieval times, man. Dude, you're a peon to me. You know what I'm saying? Peasant. Like, you ain't nothing. You, you pennies a peasant, in the bucket. Bro. You ain't shit to me, bro. Remember when Tate said that shit? Man, you pennies <laughs> in the bucket. You lucky my brother told me not to duff your dumb ass. Because you ain't and nothing. And you the youngest brother. And you the youngest brother. So you don't know this story. Bro. Let me tell you the newest Tate story, bro. Oh, shit. He, Tate locked up right now. Tate been locked up for three years. He get out in two. Tate been in there on some humble shit, trying to just stay to himself, stay out the way, working out, you know, get his little tattoos here and there, and just trying to keep in touch with his daughters, bro. So we all know Tate, right? Tate used to like to kick it and shit. You hear me? But he locked yeah. up. He ain't been doing shit for like the past three. Mm. A nigga didn't got a nigga didn't got some tune in the pie, bro. What? A nigga didn't snuck some tune and got it in the pod and was banging that shit to niggas, the Tunchi, bro. So 
Deshaun, he he cool. He I send that nigga food all the time. All them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Send him food. That nigga cool on the phone side. Like he he put together in there. He got uncles and shit that been locked up down in Belmont. Nigga long way longer than him. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got life, all types of shit. So he cool. Man, but you know, care of. Hey, Be nigga been sober for a minute. Nigga been sober for a minute. Nigga ain't been drinking none of that shit. Shit. I'm trying to get geek. You know, Tate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he start he started copping tune from the yeah. nigga. You know what I'm saying? He started topping copping tune from the nigga. Yeah. You know, he been smoking, da da da. So he told me that one day. The nick, a couple of niggas in the pod was making like some alcohol or some shit, right? The nigga uh-huh. offered, the nigga offered Tate some. So this, this the same day, like Tate been smoking tune and shit going on like two weeks and shit. Like he, he feeling himself. He ain't been kicking it. In. We know Tate. He ain't been kicking it in a minute. He, you know what I'm saying? But this day, yeah, he like, I've been lightweight slipping. I need to get back on my workout shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool on that shit. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me get my, my focus and shit back together. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know how that nigga is, bro. The nigga right. ended up offering him some of that liquor or some shit they was making. Tate told the nigga he was oh. cool on it. You know what I'm saying? He told, he was like, no, Yo. I'm good. You know, I'm cool. So his boy who, who just like we got down there a couple months ago, get the nigga, you smoke too, nigga. Like, you know, he, he trying to basically put Tate on front in front of niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying? On some, you know what I'm saying? You think you know this nigga, this man now because you've been seeing him last couple of weeks smoking to him, doing. Yeah, but but Tate was just on some. You know what I'm saying? I've been in this bitch three years. I, you know what I mean? But now I'm back on my workout shit, and you've been seeing the bitch lately, right? Yeah, he getting diesel. Bitch getting big, bro. So. So, dude, like, wait, trying to, like, you know, embarrass him in front of, nigga, you smoke, Tony, nigga, drink this shit, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, I'm good, like, you know, yeah. no, the nigga, he said the nigga said some shit, like, some jail shit. You know niggas can't leave shit like this alone. You locked up with the same nigga all day. Y'all keep arguing about the same topic. He said something like, what's worse, tune or, uh, or alcohol or some shit like that, you know what I mean? Some trying to be sophisticated type shit. And Tate Dude. like shit. It, it, Tate hit him with some shit like this. Shit, it depend on who you're talking to. If you're talking to a nigga who like to drink, he gonna say that the, the, the tune is worse. He could, you know, some some stupid shit that don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you talk to a nigga that like to smoke too, right. he gonna say that. You know what I mean? <laughs> they they back they they going back and forth about this shit all day, bro. Like when they going to lunch, they still talking about it. Da da da. You know what I'm saying? When they got let out for their little, you know, little free time, they still talking about a little discussion. So, so take right. feel like, all right, do basically think I'm a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Right. He pulled tight on him, bro. Whispered in his ear on some. So, w- what's up? What, what, what you trying to do, bro? We ain't got to. We ain't got to let nobody know nothing. We can. We can go right up over here. You feel me? We can take care of business. We can Damn. do what we got to do. Yeah. Dude's trying to get all loud. They hit him with the, shh, all right, my bad. I'm going uh, to holler at you later or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, dude, he Whoa. could tell dude was on some, all right, this nigga crazy for real. Like, I don't know who I'm from, bruh. The end of the day, before, the, he, before them niggas went in at the end of the night, bruh, Tate and dude scrapped. Off in the cut, Tate said he dropped dude with like two. Boom, boom, dogged him, bro. Offloading, <laughs> and he said he just, bro. He said he had so much aggression and shit built up from shit, like, like he felt bad about the shit, bro. Damn, you know what I'm saying? That's... And he said he luck, look, he lucky that niggas, niggas gotta wear the face coverings and shit because of the virus. Cause dude's face was fucked up, bro. Like he said, when he see dude now, when he was seeing dude, he had seen him with the mask on like this, and he had just like looked down and walked past him, bro. Like mm. dog team, bro. That's and dude tales, probably bro. you know thinking he's sweet, thinking he a bitch. Like niggas be taking niggas kindness. 
for a weakness. It's a weakness. Man. Big time. Big time. When when I'm just being kind, dude. I don't gotta do you this know, shit. In the end all be all, bro, I ain't even gotta do this. I'm <laughs> helping, man. I'm throwing you a ball. But yeah, dude was trying to get all loud and shit. Oh Take my bad, bro. I'll holler at you. Put later. that shit to sleep. My bad, bro. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> you oh, you on that? My psh, all right, my bad, bro. I got you. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All the time, still in front of niggas and everything. Oh, you no, on? No. Oh, my bad, bro. I'm sorry. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. My bad. Doggy well, hey, later what, on. Why he said? Sh- sh- mm, no, mm, no, no. Yeah, because dude trying to. Oh, what's that. up? Oh, what's up? You trying to work? You know, bringing attention, thinking CEOs. Are, oh, my you bad. You can catch bro. me at that back wall, though. Oh, my bad, bro. <laughs> He, right, he made an emphasis to tell me how he put the finger up on some. Shh, I'm gonna just holler at you later, bro. Like he said, he put the one finger up. Sacred. Shh, my bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? My bad, bro. I'm, I'm gonna just holler at you later, bro. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on some bullshit. Bro. They say bullshit. Big sacred. On some just me and you on the humble like. Fuck all the audience whispering that nigga ear. What's up? What you, what you were saying, bro? What's up? We, we can do this right flip, now. The flip we can do side. this right now. It's just me and you, bro. We can do this right now. And, you know what I'm look saying? What and and lo, lo and behold, look what happened. Dog him. He said two of them bitches. And he keep talking about how the nigga, his shoulders, the way his shoulders feel, nigga. My shoulders feel amazing, bro. Like the, the durability in them bitches, bro. But he turned into Monchop. <laughs> hey, that nigga is basically Monchop. <laughs> Turning a about to evolve into Machamp in a minute. A, a Machamp. Goddamn, goddamn, about to turn into a goddamn Machamp. <laughs> this nigga is a Machamp, not a Machop. A Machamp. Man. <laughs> but hey, in the intro. But that's my bet. I, I appreciate that, man. I'm glad Tate doing cool and I. I definitely got to take. I got to touch base with Tate, man. This dude, I was just playing y'all music the other day. Oh, and let me say this before you finish. When I brought you up the other day, Mary, you told me telling you know get your number and shit. Yeah. And you want to highlight him? He said that's crazy because I talk about Lawrence a lot in here to these niggas. Man. Yeah, that mean that I don't know. I didn't go into depth with it. You know, we be. Keeping shit short because you know we press for time when we talking, but that means something, bro. That means that, that you mean a model, model for niggas. That means you a model for niggas, bro. Because that's what I, I got from it. That's what I got I, from that shit. You already know, like at this point, man. I already see the path, and I'm just trying to lead them to the way, man. I just want to see as many youth. As many people our age, adults, wherever, wherever y'all next level is, I want Unlimited Sports Inc. I want whatever my movement is to take that to the next level. That's that's all I want to do. My, I already know, like personally, me, my passion and what what brings me my happiness at the end of the day is, is helping other people. So when I get to see that happiness and them knowing that it's genuine, I'm good. Work yeah. looking like a music meteorologist in this bitch. Man. <laughs> but 24 minutes in, man. The vent podcast episode two live on a stream yard, man. I'm glad for everybody that tuned in. This this is what it's like. Man. This is what it's been like for the past 10 years. This is the type of people I've been in touch with, people I hoop with, in high school with. But we got to save that for the Unlimited Sports Inc. podcast, for sure. The six-foot-five center with a seven-foot uh, wingspan. Yeah, right. <laughs> A.K.A. Yeah, Marcus right. Candy. A.K.A. <laughs> Serge Ibaka, a.k.a. 
Andre Blanc. No, awesome. Uh, what's that nigga Ed used to call me? John Henson. <laughs> it's the Gadget Arms, John Henson, a.k.a. But you did more than John Henson, though. For real, for real. Henson, all hold he on, did was on, try to play a little bit of post block and clean up. What do you got going on, man? You good over there? What? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's good. Go have a good game, boy. You the beast. You a beast. You gonna go to the beach? Yeah. Go ahead then. You can hear me, bro? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm making sure I just grab the headphones. I'm like you now and shit, you know. Here, you I just heard me. you talking to Masai. I'm just laughing, you know. <laughs> young, young about Duncan about to go and to Robinson. The beach. Hey, <laughs> he, no, nah, that nigga gonna be. Robinson. I'm gonna make them nigga old school, <laughs> bro. Straight Mike and drills, straight Ooh. Mike and drills for punishment with medicine balls. Hey, forty pounds each ball. Get them up, you know. There. And we ain't, <laughs> and we ain't got no hoop. I'm spray painting squares on the top of a ladder. And that's what we hitting with the medicine balls on the wall. You feel me? Grab that bitch. Hit and that I'll square drill, on that wall. I'll drill the double rim hoop into the damn wall, period. You know what I'm saying? Straight fucking medicine ball, mic and drills, and suicides for footwork. For the people who don't understand, man, we'll, and we'll go into more depth come to Unlimited Sports Scene Podcast, but Man, it's a six foot one and a half in shoes. I played positions two through five, basically, mainly three through five. Small forward, power forward, center in the Cleveland area. It was no joke. Man. <laughs> it was no joke. <laughs> we talking about some of the goats of our days was that exact size. You know what I'm saying? Some of Man, the best players we didn't know to get. Yet. Don't man, don't we know some yet. underground legends for Unlimited Sports Inc. For the Unlimited Sports Inc. Well, you know, we bro, we played against NFL pros. Man, NFL where they was pros. at where they was at high Think school, undeveloped. You high played against school. the Saint Ignatius offensive lineman who went on to be an undrafted free agent NFL pro. See, I ain't even know that shit, mm-hmm. man. But I know a lot of the niggas we... 66270. A lot of the niggas we played against back in the day, bro, went on for real to be not even in basketball, just great athletes, period. You know what I'm saying? Athletes came from Cleveland. It wasn't so much sport for for one sport. You know what I mean? Man. Half of Glendale's basketball team was the football O-line. And it's still niggas that never even played high school sports we didn't hooped against us. If you ask me, better than some of the niggas in the league and shit, bro. Hey, shout out bruh. to the Knuckleheads podcast. Shout out to the Daniel Artest podcast. Hey. Shout out to all the Smoke podcasts. All the OGs, all the old heads on there already know. Wherever public school basketball, inner city that you are from, Midwest, East Coast, West, or the South, the best athletes are the ones that are ineligible. The the best, Man. some of the goats never got a chance to see the day of light, and they could have went pro. We gonna you gotta have Kel talk about his older brother. Come on, man. <laughs> the dark. Come on, underground Come on, legend. Hey, we got the some dark. This content for unlimited space, right. man. Mark was Mark right. was before his time, and he know it. All right. He know. Let me go back to the Mark- vet. I go back to the vet. <laughs> man, I got some shit to vent about. That, if we go into the Olympics 
14, I got you. I'm going to hit you up. Hey, you see a trail, 216, and hit hit up Brick Spates on YouTube. Some of the best music, man. How many, how many people you know got their unemployment, man? Quite a few. It's all about how you work the system, and hey, it's looking like a, a retirement is not going to be there at the end. Man, that's what I'm inventing about. It's how about like it's, all the people shallow, benefiting off that goddamn unemployment, though? Quite a few people have. Oh my god! I had a, you know, I ain't had a day off since it's the whole crazy. pandemic shit started. Like we ain't shut down Same. or none of that. Like I guess I mean I it, guess I had, I'm a, I had a few I had a few dry spots, I can't even lie. I was in between Janko and uh going to Lucky's market, but it was crazy. Some people came in without masks, some with masks. Bro, did I tell you I had a closing shift where I had to catch a lady from falling to the floor, she almost cracked her head. Concrete floor at Lucky's market, man. Damn. Right. Yeah, I know and people. It was the same type of symptoms that D.L. Hughley went through when he passed out on stage and found out he was positive with Corona. Oh, so you think she had that shit? There's no telling. Like, I was like, what's wrong? Are you okay? She wasn't saying nothing. And she was standing there and then she just, boom, she was about to fall. I caught the Damn. top of her. Because if her head hit knowing, that concrete. Knowing Cleveland, she probably was juice. on some drugs. She's she probably, probably on fentanyl. <laughs> fentanyl. She Bruh, you know, we fans. basically, but they, we almost in one of the epicenters of that fentanyl shit, bro. Man, it was fucking breaded here. The we narcan. in one of the epicenters. They cut in, they said if you they cut in, in all the shit. Me. Man, I'm telling you, bro, that Narcan saving niggas' lives, though. Like, if it wasn't for that, a lot of niggas, they show up and niggas just die. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas is... Hey, since it's the vent, let's keep it Let's keep it a buck. I got aunts and uncles that's living on 40 years of this crack, 40 yep. years of this heroin. Nigga, my, my father did that shit that from the shit moment still making when it. he it's almost like, got how? killed. Because they... And this the thing. These days, it's, it's really luck of the draw because... Niggas is cutting everything with that fentanyl. Niggas think they taking Molly. Niggas think they snoring regular cocaine. Niggas think they taking regular fucking Percocets or some shit. One like fentanyl is like the easier, <laughs> like cheaper way to just, you know what I'm saying? It give you the same type of effect. Niggas really don't know the difference until it's too late. And a nigga got the too much dose of that shit. It's too strong for you. You probably drinking out on top of that. Like, we only human at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We don't realize how fucking vulnerable and precious life is, man. Like this shit's serious for real. Like hey, this is not a game. Look, like just just even just even tracking back and piggybacking off of that, bro. When it comes down to peer pressure, we already talked about it. Some piece some people may may feel like peer pressure is a real thing and that they have to feel like they they gotta follow suit and they gotta do what's cool that somebody else is saying. Hey, when it came to me, was peer pressure ever a factor? Nah, I mean, you always been one of them, and that's Not the thing, bro. It's, it's it's gonna always be them people who stand out, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's and that's why certain you know, people that? just align themselves with great people. You know what I'm saying? Like. I can't explain this shit, bro, but yeah, that peer pressure, it all come down. You, you already real, know what it your, is, man. Your mind's set and shit. Like, you're going to do what you want to do at the end of the Just day. like you, It bro, ain't you about nobody it. talking you into it. Oh, shit. Right. But you a, it's all about you niggas. You a strong brother. Can't nobody talk you into something that you don't do. You know, oh, yeah, you, you know you, me. You've been doing your own thing since 18. You'll go out do your man. own show. Come back, record. We'll sit. You know, y'all smoke. I wasn't even smoking. Same I'm shit. like, yeah, that's y'all. You know, I'm same like, love one too. 
But, you know, as time went on, smoking, drinking, whatever people did, we never did nothing hardcore or nothing serious, but we always kicked it. In the end, when I look at it, those four years after high school that we spent, like the fraternity years, it was the college years. Whether we went to school yeah. or not, we learned more about ourselves. We we, we was in our own like about life. We was in our own like life life college almost. Like we lived in like a dorm basically, the spot we were staying at, and we all was just really at that age. We was figuring shit out, you know, maybe dealing dealing with this situation when it came to your family, dealing, dealing with this woman when it came to a relationship. You know, this this man, how I'm making my money girls, right now. Like females. man. That's a whole different episode. It's, all, it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a, 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 a life experience at the end of the day. Whether you went through it when you was in college or you was living abroad or whatever the fuck it was, <laughs> everybody was at that age hey. where motherfuckers was growing, experiencing, and heading towards their next little, you know, plethora of life. Whether it's, all right, this is what I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying? This is the direction I'm about to head towards right. in the next, like, seven years type shit. Like, you know how that shit was going, man. And, Niggas was and that's exploring. That's the crazy part. Like, throughout that time, I still didn't know what mine was. But I knew, like, that was our crew. We was the only crew that was, like, six foot one and up. Nobody was shorter than that. We all had wits yeah, in our heads was, with it when it came down to niggas was long as fuck hanging out. Why Net, these long we ass up, aliens hanging out? <laughs> we this, y'all up, niggas, like, is these the Cavaliers? Like, Who is these niggas? <laughs> the kid in charge came to hoop. What the fuck? <laughs> These niggas is hanging yeah. out with each other. Y'all, y'all play y'all a basketball and everybody team. Everybody had their own character, bro. Everybody had their own y'all character, are... and like I told, that's told a what lot city, of people. Now, what city right, y'all play for? A hundred times more. <laughs> what city y'all play for? Columbus. Y'all the Columbus uh, y'all play, National. Y'all, y'all play in high school. <laughs> y'all, did y'all, y'all y'all play semi pro or some shit? The Cleveland Blazers. <laughs> Old niggas trying to show you post moves. Get out of here. That shit ain't going to work. Get out of here. Yeah, if my knee didn't buckle, you saying you, <laughs> you wasn't going to make it nowhere, old mofo. Hey, back in my <laughs> day, I hit you. Nah, that shit ain't working, bro. Get out of here. I blocked man, that shit stop two talking seconds. About before, I go into my, before I go into my limited sports sink bag, man. Dude. Oh, yeah, this the bit. Then, Let's finish. The this bit. the bit. <laughs> I feel like KG. Back I feel then, like shout out KG in the uh, what's that shit shout called? Out KG area, the old area twenty one episode, but area twenty one, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, that episode he I was feel like the KG. Was as fuck, it was real. I ain't hit. You gotta see I ain't it. Hip, when you get a chance to over here, check out the All the Smoke podcast. Shout out Matt Barnes. Shout out uh, Stephen Jackson. The realest shit while they smoke their weed and just have a good ass conversation with every host. Um, Ooh. they had talked to KG and he dropped jewels KG. about all his NBA career. Bruh, Even GP talking about KG, defense, bro. Did you see that movie with Adam Sadler, bro? That was a good ass movie. Uncut bro. gems. Hey, talking about jewels. Let's talk it. about them uncut gems. I gotta see it still. I fell asleep. <laughs> uh, I was just about to watch it on Netflix one night, man. Hey, my nigga ain't have too many acting skills, KG, but my nigga was real aggressive in all his scenes, and I was like, yep, that's <laughs> KG. <laughs> yep, Pat, that's KG about to, right there. About to smack the glass like it's the backboard before the pregame and hey. throw up on the shit. <laughs> my, nigga, my nigga KG was aggressive as fuck in every scene, man. That's, man, that's KG, but, though. Dog, I, I got it. I got to give you your shout outs while we here. You are for sure. Like I saw I met you, you are the reincarnation, the younger reincarnation of Dave Chappelle, whether you know it or not. Man, and if you don't follow Dave, that path, that's on you. Hey, but you got, Dave, the, you Chappelle, got Dave Chappelle in you in the black and Schultz. Who the, oh, this nigga said Dave Chappelle and Andrew Schultz. You there's some big shoes to uh, feel right there. Not the Schultz, not the Schultz Cleveland. shoes. No, you know, that's Cleveland. like a flip it's the flop. Cleveland version. Cleveland yeah, version. I respect it. I respect it, but that's a flip flop <laughs> compared to uh, Dave Chappelle. Though. Oh no, 
Dave Chappelle, that's, like a, a big funny guy, and that's a guy that's a legend that's like deep in hey, depth, and you think that deep, Andrew right? Schultz, Andrew Schultz is a flip flop in the parking lot compared to Dave Chappelle, who is a motherfucking a muddy ass army boot that that my granddad got from when he was in the motherfucking service, nigga. You know what you, I'm saying? You got both in. No. <laughs> you get no your disrespect. jokes off. You get your shit off. But you're going to get your Dave Chappelle, you're going to drop them gems. He's talking about griots. He's talking about deep shit. Hey, mm-hmm. yeah. Hey, and this, I mean, so you, I told myself I, I got to uh, I gotta try it. Matter of fact, I'm about to be on some shit. Watch this. Continue, Just continue learning how you learn, bro. Don't change. That's it. But oh, besides this. that... Besides that, we gonna wrap it up though until the next episode. Wrap this shit up. The vent, vent, the vent. Episode two event. with my brother Trail. This is the vent. Tell them anything at that they need to subscribe to, like, follow, share, comment, hey, or subscribe. My brother. Fuck all that. No disrespect. <laughs> when y'all niggas need to vent, tune y'all bitch asses back in. Get that shit up off your chest. I don't give a fuck what you got to talk about. Say that shit. I don't give a fuck what it is. Get it off. Either say it or take it to that back wall. (laughs) If you a single, 5'3", 120-pound white man. Come on, man. man. We're live here. Come on and get that shit up off your chest. Your little ass bird chest. Come get that shit up off your little like ass chest. Shorts, I told y'all. It's not me. <laughs> it's him. It's not me. It's him. Hey, <laughs> come get that shit up off your little <laughs> ass chest. <laughs> Bitch ass. No, let me stop. No, you See, already know what it is, when he get bro. on to the damn internet. <laughs> Wrap it up. Wrap it up. But man, hey, until next time, man, this is the Vent Podcast. Air it out. This is my brother, my trail space. A hey, at trail space at brick space. Add him on YouTube. The man has music. He has wisdom. You heard him. He'll tune in on another episode. Tap in, everybody. Um, we were just here venting, just talking, man. Just getting everything up off our chest and having a good time. But this is episode two. Everybody, tune in to episode three. It'll be even better. We'll have even more people. It'll be even more conversation. Thank you.